G'day guys, it's Jess from Outback Equipment and today we're going to be talking about the purifier and bore water filter from Thirsty Nomad. Straight out of the box, you'll get your purifier, you'll get your push fittings and your mounting clips. Before we jump right into it, just letting you know at the end of this video, we sit down with the Thirsty Nomad and grill them on just how nitty gritty the science is and what makes these water purifiers so great. So the purifier itself is about 30 centimeters in length, about six centimeters in diameter, and weighs about 350 grams. It's pretty much the same as most standard caravan filters. Thirsty Nomad have designed this water purifier to be used inside the caravan or van. You can use it after the pump or under the sink to purify water. The reason you would buy a Thirsty Nomad water purifier is the fact that it's a water purifier and not a water filter. The common misconception is that the more traditional standard filters only filter out taste, odour and smell. This one will get rid of 100% of E. coli and many other heavy metals, microplastics and any other nasties that you might come across. Currently, the Thirsty Nomad inline water purifier is the only water filter that meets Australian guidelines for 100% removal of E. coli. When comparing your more traditional caravan filters that only use one stage of water filtration, which is your granular activated carbon, it's just nowhere near as efficient as removing bacteria as the Thirsty Nomad water purifier. We have a very special guest, Tori, one of the founders of the Thirsty Nomad, who's here to tell us a little bit more about the range of water purifiers and filters. So first up, we've spoken a lot about the water purifier. I'd like to know a little bit more about the bore water filtration. Sure, Jess. So we always encourage our customers to fill their vans with our sediment and bore water pre-filter. This is a five micron sediment pre-filter and inside of here we have a media that acts through an ion exchange to reduce the dissolved minerals that you'll commonly find in bore water that you'll be offered when you go out back. So more specifically, where would you bring one of these along whilst travelling Australia? Sure Jess, um, once you get off the coastal fringe and you start heading further afield and head out back into areas where you'll be provided with bore water, mm -hmm. this really comes into its own because inside of this pre-filter we've got a sediment filter, the 5 micron sediment filter and inside there is a media that will reduce the dissolved minerals in the bore water. Mm -hmm. It's really important to protect your appliances and your pipes from the calcification that can occur from bore water. Yep. So this will reduce all of those minerals and just protect your pumps and your appliances. Mm -hmm. It also comes with refills. These are really handy. Take these with you. They're probably yep. not readily available out mm -hmm. there. Each refill should last about 3,500 litres. Mm -hmm. So that comes as standard when you buy one of our bore water packs. Nice. And it's also important yeah, to look so after your pump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Obviously always install that strainer with any of your OEM pump manufacturers, yeah. but it'll also protect your pump from those fines and the sediment and rust and dust mm. that often occurs in rainwater and also in bore water. So it'll also protect, you know, that very expensive pump. Yeah, we get a lot of customers that often buy new pumps because of that very reason. So yeah. this is great for that. Exactly, yeah. Jess, yeah. And it's it's designed for a high flow, high surface area, so it's perfect for filling your tanks. Mm -hmm. It comes with all the fittings you'll need. You can direct you can fit it directly to the tap. Yeah. When you pull up and there's a bore water tap. Mm -hmm. Or you can use it in line to fill your van. Yep. It also has a very high flow rate, so but you won't ever use this in line when you're um, filling a van, is that correct? We don't encourage our customers to use that in that way. Mm -hmm. It is, as you said earlier, Ferrari of water purifiers, yep. and it's best used inside your van, installed after the pump mm -hmm. or under your sink. So this is an ideal combo. If this is an back. ideal combo nice. if you're heading further afield, for sure, Jess. And what this does is the bore water and sediment fields will even elongate the life of your Thirsty Nomad. This is a pretty expensive bit of kit, we appreciate that. Um, yeah. But we want our customers to get the most life they possibly can out of the Thirsty Nomad water purifier. And this will help that. All right, did you want to take it away? Yeah, sure Jess. So here we've just simulated what uh, your customers will experience when they use the Thirsty Nomad in their van. We always recommend that you install your Thirsty Nomad after the pump yep. and before any hot water system. Mm -hmm. With most caravans, they're usually 55 PSI pump mm -hmm. and when you install your Thirsty Nomad after your pump, you get about a 10% loss 
through the purifier because mm -hmm. it is quite a fine purifier. Yeah. So at the end of the Thirsty Nomad, you'll get about 50 PSI. Okay. What that translates to for everyone out there yeah. is about a four litre per minute flow rate. And four litres per minute is a really good flow rate when you're camping. It's it's a good flow rate for cooking and showering and even in your bathroom, it's perfectly acceptable. It's a good way to, to conserve water while you're yeah, out there. it's good, especially when yeah. you're in the outback. So. For sure, yeah. for sure, Jess. So, look, I'm happy to run it. This is probably not, <laughs> this is probably very dirty water. Yeah. All water doesn't usually look that dirty, but we just thought we'd get some of the local creek water yep. just to show people so you can see how effective the Thirsty Nomad is. So, right. yeah, I'm happy do to do the honours. Do the honours, for sure. So guys, what you're seeing here is the water flowing through the Thirsty Nomad purifier and it's going through its five stages of purification. The first stage in the Thirsty Nomad purifier is a heavy metal removal media. That's removing all those heavy metals such as arsenic, lead, iron and even fluoride. In our second stage of purification is our carbon fibre block and that actually has up to 19 times higher contaminant removal capacity than the traditional granular activated carbon. Wrapped around our carbon fibre block is an antibacterial cloth that just protects that carbon fibre block from any bacterial colonisation. Our fourth stage is our 0.1 micron ultrafiltration. This is actually a mechanical barrier and it's really doing a lot of heavy lifting, get, getting rid of that sediment as well and, and really polishing the water and preventing any of those really fine bacteria and viruses getting through. Nothing can get past that 0.1 micron barrier. And our fifth stage is our world-class quantum disinfection. It was actually invented in the States and it meets NSF guidelines as a purifier, which means that it kills all bacteria and viruses upon contact. So that's a really important feature about an inline purifier that it works to kill bacteria and viruses upon contact and doesn't need any of those long contact times. Wow, what a lesson in water purification that was. Thank you so much for coming on today and answering a lot of our questions. No, thank you, Jess. Thank you. Um, if you do have any more questions at home and you are a little bit confused, we will both be answering questions if you leave a comment down below. If you like this, feel free to subscribe and if you want to pick one of these up, you can do that at outbackequipment.com.au any day of the week. We'll catch you in the next one.